She will be doing something similar to that, and it will be, will it be piping or fondant, Laura? The Mexican uh, cake. The piping. It'll be all fondant piping. Covered. A fondant covered cake with piping um, flowers, which is what I did too. This one okay. was all fondant, and then I piped on top, and then I also hand painted. A two layer, two tiers were painted. Okay. So she's got some really cool classes this April. And we're also working in, on May, May calendar. I'm going to be doing some shooters, the little cups with the, the shooters. Um, I'm going to do some with cake and some with jello, and then some with mousse, which I will make the mousse in, out of scratch, okay. from scratch. Yeah. I'll probably have you come up here with me, because you're a chef. You know how to you do that stuff. Do like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> for real, I'm being honest. Okay, and then on top of that, I'm gonna, next week we're gonna do danishes from, with, the, with the mix that we sell here. So mm -hmm. it'll be a powdered mix from Wesco, a premium mix, and then we're gonna do the danishes. Um, and that's it, so let's get started because I know today's demo is gonna be fairly long. Okay, and uh, just to let you know, the piping bags uh, expires April 10th. And this one is all month. The piping bags are all month, and then these are till the 10th. Okay? Okay, so let's put this aside. So the first buttercream I'm going to make is the smooth and light. Have you guys used this? It's your favorite? Okay, cool. Oh, la señora. Pase, pase. Es buttercream? I don't know. Smooth and light. Es el nombre. Smooth and light. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do at the end is I'm gonna put them in bags and I'm gonna let you guys pipe on cupcakes so you guys can see the difference in the textures and see what you guys like to do, okay? Entonces, al final del cabo, le voy a poner en bolsas cada cual que hacemos hoy para que ustedes puedan hacer las, um, decorar los cupcakes para que ustedes vean cuál le gusta más, okay? And then I'm gonna color them so we know which one is which because I'll forget, okay? So, this is the smooth and light. It comes in a bucket of 2.5 pounds, and then they also have larger sizes. And for this recipe, you need the entire 2.5 pounds. And I'm gonna put all of this, this is hard. It's hard to grab, okay. I'm gonna put the entire base, it's a base. It's hard, but it turns out to be really smooth. What'd you yeah. say? I'm sorry. Um, I usually have to use like the little spatula to help get it off the, the big plastic one. You know, the you know I, I honestly grabbed the wrong spatula. I should have grabbed one of those. <laughs> Which? No, it's this on the This These are better. They're sturdy. That one's flimsy. But the reason why I see I love these because they're high temperature, they're yeah. the culinary oh, spatulas nice. and they go up to like 400 and something degrees without melting. But then I like these because they don't have the separator and if you guys usually look at the cheap ones, which we tend to go for the cheap ones, and you separate them, they'll, they'll grow mold inside there. Yeah. So these, you don't have to worry about that. But that's just the me thing. ¿Sí me entendió? Okay. Me gusta estas espátulas porque puedes ponerlas en temperatura bien alta, como 425 grados, yo creo, y no se derrite. En cambio, me gusta esta porque no tiene la separación y muchas veces cuando compramos los, los um, baratos, tienen la separación y cuando lo saca, tiene molde adentro. So, hopefully I don't forget my Spanish today. <laughs> es que a veces me olvido el español. <laughs> me da. Okay. So I put the whole container of the base inside the mixer. Lock the mixer. And you're going to put 3.5 ounces of water, which is already weighed out. Okay, I weighed it on my scale, 3.5 ounces. I, ha I, I weighed everything today. So. And on a slow mixer, just slowly before. I, I like to add things slowly. Do you do this? And mm -hmm. This way, um, 
I, for one, I don't get the big splatter, whether it's water or powder. And for two, um, let's move this over so you guys don't see my face, but you guys see what I'm doing. 3.5 ounces. And what color should we do this one? I have green, pink, and sky blue. What do you think? Okay, I'm going to write that down so we don't, I don't forget. I like that's my favorite color. color. <laughs> blue. I usually don't weigh my water. I just look at it. You don't weigh your water? Only because I have, I'm a person that sees what, if it looks like it's a good consistency for me, then I, that's what I have. That's fine. I weigh everything. Everything. Um, I even weigh my fondant. Like, I weigh everything. Yeah. And uh, a lot of bakers that I know, almost everybody I know does not weigh anything. <laughs> the way they're fond of it, they weigh Everything, I, I weigh everything. And but I weigh everything in grams. But that's the way we were trained. Yeah, I think that's but what it is. In us and it won't change. <laughs> Do you weigh your fond it? I, I weigh it's getting weight. everything. Yo peso todo. Um, si, si me ve, si ve mi, si me sigue en Instagram y todo y ve un pastel, un 8 y un otro 8 de otro día, los dos tienen la misma cantidad de fondant. <laughs> los dos yeah. tienen la misma cantidad de harina. Because that's what I do. Okay, so this one's actually done. I'm just going to raise the speed a little if it wants to. Okay. Are you guys signed up for any classes at the cake bar show? No? No? I'm okay. Taking the cake you're taking the and you're not going to take the gelatin with Laura? Well, I started taking the lolly cakes one before I saw the gelatin. The gelatin class was added fairly late in the I program. Taking, uh, However, you still got time. <laughs> I, but um, in her class with Laura, that, that that class she's actually going to teach um the cake so it's going to be yeah. very work up i'm going to assist her in that class so i'll be her assistant yeah. but i'm not going to say anything i'm just there to help her oh you're going to assist i'm going to assist her okay. okay so this is the smooth and light buttercream if you look how pretty it was it is um Remember at first it was kind of thick and it was really hard. Now look at this. How pretty. Um, this is your favorite, right? I, I heard that. Um, I do, sometimes I do tend to come to this one. <laughs> Let me just scrape the sides of my bowls and then I'm going to do a quick little mix again just to make sure I got all the, the base of the buttercream. Do you ever add anything to it like butter? No. Or are you just... This one I go That's straight like this. You can add flavoring, just make sure it's the liquid. And you wanna do clear flavoring. The question was, do I add anything to this buttercream? Sorry for those who are you are live and can't hear. Um, I do, you can add flavoring. If you wanna do like an almond, you wanna do um, vanilla. This, it's already flavored to vanilla. Most of the products are, are geared to vanilla anyway. Yeah. However, if you wanna change it to add um, almond, go for it. Just make sure it's clear. It's the Damien products are perfect. Um, however, there are some Damien products that are tinted color and some that are clear. Okay, si le quiere cambiar el sabor en este betún, le puede. Um, el Damien es perfecto. Lo único que tiene que fijarse bien que el de Damien no tenga color, porque hay unos que tienen color y otros que no son, tienen color. Okay? So I'm gonna do a quick mix just to make sure that I got the scrapes. And then I'm gonna Oh, I'm gonna color this. But let me sp let me put some in here so you guys can it'll go around and you guys can taste it. If you can do that. No, everybody that I use this loves it. I, it I yeah, all your customers like it. it. Yes, I wouldn't want to change it. 
It smells. It can't. It's not. It doesn't have a strong smell. Because it, Can yeah. you smell it? Yeah. It, I they like it. They like it because it's it's good. Like it's, it's, good. it's really blue good. Too. Okay. Um, what did we say? Blue. Blue. I'm gonna check. Le voy a cambiar de colores porque al final del día, or del show, or del demo, um, quiero poder distinguir cuál es cuál. Okay, is, and also so you guys can see how it grabs the color. Y ahí está si quiere probar. So this is a Mary Color gel. Okay, this is gel colors. That's pretty. That's a pretty color. Yeah. Ay caramba. No, don't do that. Okay. So again, I'm going to scrape the sides because obviously I'm still going to have white in here. But this is a really pretty blue. And this was the sky blue. <laughs> you have a sweet tooth? I don't. Oh, you don't? Mm -mm. I'm a chocolate lover. I, I like chocolate too. I, I love chocolate. Tea. And I have chocolate hidden in my cupboards because if not, my husband will eat it all. <laughs> <laughs> or my son. My daughter does not like chocolate. Okay, perfect. Okay, so this is the smooth and light. I'm just going to set it aside because then I'm going to grab the next bowl and start with the next buttercream. And that way we don't have to. And then after the next one, I'm going to take a break so I can clean up because then I have the other one that's from scratch. Okay. Do you get buttercream all over you? Yes. I always get buttercream <laughs> everywhere. That's why I had a little wet towel waiting for me. Okay. Yes. So the next buttercream I'm going to do is the bright white. Now, um, get your pens ready because this is the recipe. Paddle attachment. I, I think it's the bowl. I think the bowl lost its ridges. Okay. So it's one cup high ratio shortening. So this is a sweet text shortening. Okay, un vaso de um Pero, pero high ratio, ¿cómo se dice ese? Okay, sure. <laughs> what she said. How do you say high ratio in Spanish? Neither. Okay. Sí, pero tiene que ser high ratio. Yo no sé cómo decir eso en español. I might have. Sí, esta es la marca Sweet Tex. No es igual como la Crystal. No. No es la misma. Tiene, es más como más gordo, más este. Tiene alto gra, uh, fat. Yeah. It's very yeah. high in yeah. fat. Yeah. Pero aquí se, aquí sí. Ah. Ok. So, I'm. Ay, caramba. It's. Manny. You can't hear me. That's ok. Lock that. So I'm going to soften the shortening. It's the bowl. It has a, but I think this one's virus. Oh, my phone has a virus. Does anybody know how to do that? Did <laughs> get the three out to get the answer wrong? It didn't work. I already downloaded like three or four. Really? I it's the bowl. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to add... <laughs> A half a cup of the bright white base. Media vaso de media taza de the bright white paste. And this is a base, okay? Es el base del buttercream. This is, um, this, I guess you want to say the secret ingredient of this. What is the bright white base? This is bright white. It doesn't. Oh, is that the one that you just No. Using? No, this is different. This is the base. It doesn't look too appetizing, but you'll see that it changes the structure of the whole entire buttercream. Okay. Yeah, it, 
Don't eat this straight out of the bowl. No, I don't need it. Can I look at it? Yeah, I'm going to send it around. Okay, the bright white here, it's two pounds. I have a virus. It sucks. Okay, it's two pounds. It's five no $5.19, and I'm only using half a cup for this recipe. So you're going to get a, a lot of five, two pounds. Okay. It, it, it comes out to so a lot. Would like that be the consistency of like butter? The, no, butter is nice and pretty. That is thick and yucky. You can open it, grab a spoon, check it out. Grab a spoon, but don't eat it. I still have to eat it. I still have to eat it. I mix. I just have to taste it to see what I have to taste everything. I'm mixing that. No, it's not that one. It's this one. I'm using it. I'll post it. Laura has it. She can print another one out. Puedes imprimir la receta, por favor? Okay. Sorry, my cheat notes. And then, so in here I have the shortening and the bright white base, right? And then I'm going to add a teaspoon of water. And then I'm going to mix it. Yeah, it, and it has no ridges. The bowl. It does, but then don't mix the rim of the mixture. <laughs> well, I saw that. Okay. I saw that. So right now, <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna dance for me. I'm going to add the van the vanilla. This is vanilla flavoring. It's a teaspoon. Just my. My bowl's dancing. Okay. And then I'm also going to add, this is um, a teaspoon of meringue powder. Okay. It's meringue powder. Um, es como, uh, uh -huh. merengue. Polvo de merengue. Yay, we got a translator. Si, me olvidé el español. <laughs> yeah, pretty much it's egg whites. Okay, so if you look, can you guys see in the in the in this on the wall? Okay. So everything is already mixed together and it looks really nice. So now I'm going to I'm going to pause and then I'm gonna add in total it is a pound and a half of powdered sugar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add them by cups, slowly, so I don't end up like Casper. Let me. Uh, en polvo. Yes. Libre y media. And you add it slowly. So we're doing a cup at a, a cup or so at a time and you always stir it in just so that it all gets combined Did you sift the powdered sugar? it's supposed to be sifted yes sifted powdered sugar <laughs> 10x to be exact <laughs> yeah but usually if you if you open it and then you um you use it, you're supposed to sift it again, yeah. which we did. <laughs> I saw nothing. <laughs> Lara was not joking when she said that. Oh, I lost my thing. Oh, it's in here. I got hungry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe she would have put the non-skid underneath that non-skid sheet. To add it? Yeah. That's actually a great yeah. idea. Yeah. This? Yeah. But you think, okay. okay. Let's, Let's do it right now. See, you guys get to see things firsthand. This is like actually like I'm in my kitchen and things happen. <laughs> yeah. 
Things happen, you just have to troubleshoot real fast and. It's just reality. It's just the, the reality of things. Oh, what a great idea. See, I love I my. I love those not good things. Laura. I, I thought of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I bet these two are the same size, right? We have a quick question. Online. Question. Um, and maybe you can all help. Which one is sweeter? Oh, we'll figure that out at the end. Oh, you guys haven't done the tasting? No. no. We only tasted the, the one that, one. the first one. But you like the bright white. And that's my favorite. And what about um, this one, the oh, bright white? What about the um, the smooth and light? The smooth and light, um, it's personal preference. Some people like their ice sweeter, some like it softer sweet. So the bright white cuts down the sweetness a little bit. And then the ready to use, what do you think? So I'm going to do an American mm -hmm. buttercream today. Yeah, the butter. Um, I, I believe it's the one you know how to do, too. Right, okay. And that one's good, too, especially when you're making it softer. I think it's good. It's, and it's crusting, right? It's a crusting. So this is also a crusting buttercream because mm -hmm. of the meringue. The only thing is that we have to do it slowly because I honestly don't want to look like Casper at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Come. You don't have to go nowhere. <laughs> we have, eight, and you're tall, so you can actually reach those really easily. So I'm doing the bright white, your favorite. My favorite. <laughs> See, this is, this is to my height, and you're tall. Your head's cut off. Look, on the wall. <laughs> I introduced her earlier. You oh, missed I'm it. Sorry, I missed it. I'm okay, this is my friend Kathy. <laughs> my, my friend Former Kathy. Former instructor at uh, Pico Rivera. <laughs> um, she also her your business is Kathy's Creation Tricks on Instagram, and she's located in and now Hesperia oh, in the boonies. Yes. In the boonies. So if you're ever going Yay. to Vegas, stop by and say hi to her. She might hop on and oh. go with you. <laughs> I just came from State Line. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> well, I am going to Laughlin for Memorial Weekend. And so with go this ahead. bright white, do you carry the fudge, do you carry the fudge supreme here? Yes, down, yes, we do. Okay. So when I used to teach the class, the better cream class, I used to make this for the students mm -hmm. to try and then incorporate the fudge supreme with it. And it's a, it just makes the icing really nice and fudgy. And it's, the fudge supreme isn't sweet. You add it to any buttercream. So we can, can do that if it. you guys want. What is the it's, a, it's, um, it's like your base for your chocolate, for a chocolate oh. fudge icing. So it's not sweet. You add it to any sweet buttercream or icing, and it makes it a chocolate buttercream. And how much fudge supreme would you add? Um, for a full recipe, are you you're doing a half right now? Uh, this is a um, so one cup. So I would do. I would start off with a, <coughs> with a cup, okay. and it depends on the 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 intensity of the chocolate flavor that you want. Um, so that's a good filling that. filler. Oh, it's a great filler. Mm -hmm. We'll do that for us chocolate lovers. If I didn't like chocolate, we wouldn't do it. But we, I do like chocolate. <laughs> um, and then what else would you use this for? Is this good underneath fondant? And this is her, one of her favorite buttercreams. And the last time I did the buttercream demo, I mentioned that. My friend Kathy does this buttercream. It's her favorite. So I don't know if you remember that. But this is Kathy. <laughs> it's, um, it's a good buttercream under, um, under fondant. But I prefer the one that she's going to be making. American, All American. Where you use butter. Because uh, it sets really nice and well in the refrigerator, so when you put your fondant on, you get a nice crisper edge on your fondant. Uh, this 
one is really great for pet cakes and it withstands heat very well for a long time, especially mm -hmm. with the summertime. Mm -hmm. I won't melt, melt, it won't melt yeah. fast. Okay. And of course, depending ah. on your consistency that you, it's good for ice cream and cake, borders, and um, I'm adding the water, okay? It's, it's two to three tables, teaspoons of water, but I'm adding it to see where I like it. What else, Kathy? Talk to me. So she she's what's your favorite thing to bake? Cookies, cakes? Cookies. Yeah, I, that's what I thought. And that's what she was gonna be demoing at the brown sugar cake retreat. Are you gonna join us at the cake bar? I'm gonna try to. <laughs> Just go for at least a day. That's the seventh? Yes, July. So this one that you're making, this is the bright white, right? Yes. This is cool. And I usually make a full recipe. So the recipe that you have, I double it. Are you keeping the recipe? It, it's okay. the one over here. Okay. Yeah, I, I You just double it. the ingredients. I just double the ingredients, and that way it makes it a full, a, like a four-quart, um, a five-quart. And then... Um, the favorite question that is asked, flavoring. Flavoring. I always add the clear butter vanilla to it, mm -hmm. and it has a really good flavor. Like I said, it's, it's not too sweet compared to the other icing, so that's why my customers like it better over the other one. Mm -hmm. And then when you add the chocolate to it, it's, it's a really good flavor. Let's get that. Let's get some fudge supreme in here before I send this away because I'm going to you send it away. To go look for some? It's over here on this aisle. The fudge supreme? Well, she says it's really good, so I'm curious to. She's been baking a really long time, yeah. also. Um, and she's been in, she was an instructor at Pico Rivera for, shoot, I want to say a good seven years. So, she knowledgeable. I'm sorry. Cuánto? I'm like. Did you see me? I'm like. <laughs> oh yeah, ella dijo una taza entera, pero para la receta entera. And oh, okay. I'm doing half a recipe, so, so it would be half, half, a half a cup. And then I'm going to half this because I'm going to pipe some for you guys. So, so, is, so for us, it's going to be a half a cup. But that's only if you want a flavor of chocolate. Okay. Right? Do you see it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is, now I'm going to scrape the sides. Now, if you want it smoother, you can add a little bit more water. That's not a problem. Um, but you don't want it too smooth because when you tend to do stuff really smooth, it'll lose its shape. Um, for example, when you're piping, if you're piping a shell border and you add too much water, your shell border will not look like a shell. It'll look like a dot. Okay, take it from experience. So I would take some of that out just to see. You don't want to have too much buttercream in there. No, I'm going to have to have this out so because oh, okay. then later on during the day and after the demo, I want them to be able to pipe their own little rosettes and so on so that they can see the difference. But I'm just scraping the bowls right on the side. Um, okay, go for it. Um, Alan, you want to get her a micro fast mm -hmm. so that everybody can hear you? Give me a second. I'm going to get a little bit more water. Who cares? Fudge Supreme. Can we see what it looks like? The Fudge Supreme? Yes. Fudge Supreme. Kathy, when are you going to come and do a demo with me?
and I, you guys, most of you know, I have, I have, I have arthritis in my hand. So I am the type of person that will tend to make my buttercream a lot smoother. Okay. So now my friends can actually hear Kathy. <laughs> Do they want to hear me talking? No. Of course. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to separate some. some I like that. I like that it doesn't really have a sweet flavor. So yeah. all, this, all the pieces are coming from whatever you're making. Oh, right. Okay, this is going to stay white. We'll just remember that. Okay, me lo puede pasar, por favor? Because that one's not sweet, is it? It's not. No, this isn't sweet. So you wouldn't ever want to eat this on its own. This is to add to whatever buttercream you're making. Yeah. Okay, let's add some. Okay, ahora le voy a agregar el chocolate para cambiar el sabor del batón a chocolate. Y hacerle... So I would do... Is that good? More than that. See, I'm getting schooled right now, so I'm actually really happy. <laughs> so how about that? <laughs> No, you want to add more. You could add like half of that. Okay. Or even the whole thing. I would add, go with that right there. So this is Fudge Supreme. It has that, it's a, like a, just a cocoa powder. Taste. It's just the base for yeah, whatever base buttercream you're using. So actually, um, the first one, the first buttercream, I, I used the base. That, well, not a base. That one, you just add the water to it, made it fluffy. And then the bright white was the base for the buttercream. And then we're adding another base, which is the fudge supreme. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then if you want it to look like real, like really fudgy and dark chocolate, no, you just add your your color to it, like your chocolate brown color, gel color. Okay. Yeah, the gel. So, did you guys hear that? Um, so if you want it to look more fudge-like, just add brown uh, brown color to it. Gel. The gel, gel. color. Oh. What do you think? Good? So you have a little tester spoon? Why does it look like a caramel soup color? Tiramisu? Tiramisu? The fudge no. base they use for two things. I have to repeat what you're saying. <laughs> and they can hear me, I think I'm stuck. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. So they use it for two things. Okay. The thing that we sell it for the most is for chocolate dipping ice cream. For donuts. Mm -hmm. So the donut shop purchased that more than anything. And then they liquefy this and then? They don't liquefy it, they just add it to powdered sugar. Oh, and to the powdered water. sugar, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, and so they heat it up. It literally it gets, just uh, make a glaze with it then. Yeah, that's the glaze. Not the sugar glaze, but it's the chocolate glaze on all the yeah. donuts that you see. That's what they use this base for the most. That's Miss Kathy's phone. <laughs> and then the second part of it is the buttercream, but they also have a fudge ice cream. So it's just a straight fudge ice cream. You can My journey. It to that powder so it, the recipes are on the bucket and on the label. But you can use it for those three things. The main things are the fudge icing and the chocolate the, dipping. The donut. And I stumbled upon this about 11 years ago. Oh my goodness. So I've been using it ever since. Now can you add that base to other buttercreams? Any buttercream. Okay. Any buttercream. Oh. Good idea. Good. <gasps> the, smooth, <laughs> the smooth and light, the ready-made packaged icing, anything. Honestly, neither have I. <laughs> so I'm like, I gotta I just want to scrape the bowl real fast. Mm -hmm. Is good? That's good. The sh the so you just melt them down and have it with the ganache. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Does it, it's no, she, uh, she was saying that she needs her own chocolate. Your own chocolate? 
like that, but I Butter use cream? chocolate chip. I do add chocolate chips sometimes, when especially when my customer gives it more chocolate and a little cr crunch yeah, right. to it. I think the thing about this one is good is that it doesn't add additional sweetness like no, the chocolate. Chip. Right, right. You're gonna right. you're gonna so like it. Like if you have those people that don't like sweet things that much. It's Manny's mother's favorite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Yes. <laughs> Miss Rosa. Um, yeah, I, yeah. So I'm going to send that around. Now, would you cover a cake with this oh, as I a do. top? That's what I'm going to do as soon as I get home today. You cover a cake with chocolate? Yeah. Is, and it's high in heat, like it won't melt? Uh, no, it's it sustains heat well, very well. Is this a taster? Too? That's the yes. one from the beginning. That's oh, that the first one. The first one. Okay. How does it taste? It's smooth and light. It's, it's not that sweet. Mm -hmm. like, I like that. It is chocolatey too. It does give me that chocolatey. I actually love this idea. I'm gonna have to take some home too. <laughs> Um, I, what I do is totally different, and I like this idea a lot more. But that's why we have these demos, so that you guys can expand your knowledge. Because my mom loves chocolate, but she doesn't like it when it's sweet. So I used to, I used to bake for a retirement home, and a lot of them are diabetic, so they can't have a lot of the sweet icing. So that's why I started using the bright white because it cuts the sweetness down. Yeah. And then with the chocolate, they would go crazy over it. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to take a quick break so that we can clean um, my bowls because I only have two bowls. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to do the, the American buttercream from scratch. Okay? <laughs>
going to make a American buttercream. Okay. So get your pens ready and mark, mark this as American buttercream title. Oh, okay. Let me just move this. What is this? The lid for that. But what was this? Oh, this is the bright one, yeah. I'm like, okay. Oh, that's right. Now this American buttercream, I'm going to use butter, unsalted butter, to be exact. Okay. Um, I I know I mentioned this before in other demos that I've done, but every time your recipe asks for butter, always use unsalted butter, um, especially if it asks for salt, because then you're just doubling your salt, right? I always confirm with my chef friend. <laughs> did, you have, did you say how much butter you were going I to haven't oh, put, okay. I haven't, no. Okay. I just wanted to make sure the air is clean, because powdered sugar and buttercream always messes up my countertops. Okay. So the recipe is six cups sifted powdered sugar. Okay. Six cups. Okay. Sifted, right? Sifted powdered sugar just like you see here. <laughs> One pound of unsalted butter. Sevenir? Sifted. Sevenir? Sevenido? Sevenida? One teaspoon and a half of vanilla. A fourth cup of heavy whipping cream flavored. I'm using this flavor of uh, Frost and Pride today, which is already flavored with vanilla. So, oh, wait, where's the camera? Right there. And a pinch of salt. This is not a pinch of salt. This is salt. <laughs> this is salt. I will pinch it later. <laughs> now, I'm going to start. Okay? Your butter needs to be always at room temperature. Okay? So I need a drink water. Okay. So if you know you're making buttercream on Tuesday, take your butter out Monday night. Okay? Let it sit on the counters overnight. Nothing's going to happen. It'll come down to room temperature, and that's how you want it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my butter, you see how pretty and soft it is? Okay, my one pound of butter. <laughs> that was not supposed to happen. And I always scrape the, the, the paper itself um, because a pound is weighed. And if I'm missing, I'll show you how much I will be missing. That's not, it won't be a pound. Okay, and then I use that as my my mat. And then I'm going to add the powdered sugar slowly. So it was six cups, and in each container I have three cups. Okay, this is American buttercream. 
there's millions of way of doing American buttercream, okay? American buttercream has millions of recipes. I know that I will get messages later. That's not the recipe for American buttercream. There's a million ways of doing American buttercream. This is just one way that I'm showing you guys today. And this one is with butter. Since everything else that I used earlier today was pretty much with shortening, I wanted to switch it over to a butter, okay? So, and also so you guys can taste it. And again, we sell unsalted butter here. We sell powdered sugar, we sell everything that you need to make this buttercream here. So, cut down on your gas price and just shop in one spot and done. <laughs> I drive an SUV. My gas is not cheap. So if I can go to one spot and hit everything, I'm okay with that. Okay? And if you haven't been here, come. Come on a Wednesday, say hi to me. Tell me who you are, because I'm not good with names. <laughs> and um, I'll take a picture which I hate pickers, but I'll take a picture. <laughs> okay, so I'm adding the, so the, the sifted powdered sugar. And my mixer is again with the paddle attachment, always with, <laughs> wrong side, always with the paddle attachment, right? Why am I using a paddle attachment? Because you're not looking there. The Thank you. Air. A whisk always adds air. Um, and then if you want to look at the convenience side, a paddle is easier to clean. <laughs> okay, so again, now I'm moving on to my, I'm moving on to my other three cups of powdered sugar. And then you don't have to add all of the cream if you don't want to. It's really to your like on the base, okay? Um, many people, depending on where you're at, what city, your house temperature, what your humidity is in yeah, your the in your location, the altitude. So if you're in um, Arkansas, you may need less liquid or more liquid than us. It all depends on where you're at and your atmosphere, okay? This is a crusting buttercream also. Um, I know many famous cake artists that use this recipe, so I will vouch for them, vouch for them, whatever it is that word is. Um, I just won't say their names. <laughs> that make sense? It's, I'm waving. This is my personal Instagram, so I can wave to whoever I want. That one? Okay. Now, um, I have all my recipes in a picture format, and I've, no, I've mentioned this before. I have all my recipes in a picture format. Uh, if you're watching this on my personal Instagram or on Baker's Bodega, Baker's, oh, Baker's, see, that's why I don't like that. Um, Baker's Bodega, we also do have the recipes here printed and so on. Um, however, if you're on my personal page, you can come visit me here at Baker's Bodega and we'll give you the printed format or just send me a message and I will message it to you. The, it's just an image. It's, and um, that way I don't have to sit there and type it every time. Okay. I did that for Cookie Con, and it actually was the best thing I did. I have a little. No, well, it, it's just one batch. I don't. I'm not. No, I, I'll weigh it when I'm done. Yeah. You can start, you can tear out the other one. Tear out the other Yeah, yeah. Weigh it and then yeah. even it out. Yeah. I know nothing. Okay. So that's six cups of buttercream. I'm sorry, six cups of powdered sugar. Six cups. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, you can add the question. I got a question is, can you add flavor to your buttercream, to this, to this recipe? I am going to add vanilla, okay? So now I'm gonna add the vanilla because I know I want this entire quantity of liquid of vanilla into my um, recipe. So that's why I'm adding this first prior to my whipped cream, or my, my heavy cream. Because the heavy cream, you can alter, right? You can do less, you can do more. So that's why I added the vanilla first because I know I want that total. Does that make sense? Yeah, okay, did that make sense? Okay. So heavy cream I'm using, again, just to make sure you guys see this. This is what I'm using. It's, this is flavored, so I'm actually adding double flavor. Did I do it right? Uh, yeah, okay. And here I go. It's already really pretty, as you can see it. The yeah. butter was at a perfect temperature. It wasn't too room temperature where it could be like liquefied and it wasn't solid, so. And then if you, you can whip this by itself also, so. You get yeah. double action. You can do but a whipped cream by itself or just make buttercream. And this will make a lot of batches. And then I'm going to do this pink. So I, the other one's white, the bright, bright, bright white, white. <laughs> and then the first one was blue. And then this one I'm going to make pink. And it's really, really pretty, so. Beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna add a quick speed to it, and then it'll be done. Did you put the salt? I did not put the salt. What is that? Oh, whipped cream. So this is whipped cream, which is esto batido in medium speed for about seven to eight minutes or so. Medium speed only. Don't go past six on this. You can taste it. What's the difference between that one and the pink one? The flavor. The other one is the, the buttercream one. The pastry pride? Huh? It's just a different brand? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have Raul come and do a, a, a demo. Future May, May, let me see, May, June. And then he'll do a demo on each butter, on each whipped cream. Is that okay? Yeah. I was just pinch of salt because a lot of people a lot of people ask what is a pinch of salt okay there's measuring spoons out there that say pinch a, um, something else something else okay a dash pin yeah all those little this is a pinch of salt mire una pinch of salt that's a pinch of salt what you grab in between your two, your index and your thumb finger, that is a pinch. If you pinch somebody, you're going to use your two fingers, that's a pinch. Okay? Done. Se hace bien espeso. Yeah. Y se hace, and then, okay, so the question was, what happens if you whip your whipped cream at a high speed? For one, you're adding a lot, you're adding a lot of air. Le estás incorporando mucho aire. Y se hace bien espeso. It gets really thick. Now, the, the, the recipe, I'm going to turn this off because it's done. The recipe states to me, be at medium speed. Okay. And that is correct. However, if you mix at a high speed, you can use that. I wouldn't use that to cover a cake because then it's going to look a lot of airy. It's not going to look too cute. But you can use that for a filling because then it'll be really, really thick. El betún si lo hace, um, si lo maneja en la máquina a alta velocidad, se va a hacer bien espeso, se va a hacer bien, bien duro, ¿ok? Y aparte le estás aumentando mucho aire, ¿ok? Ahora, yo no le cubriría un pastel con ese betún, pero si es que por alguna casualidad hago eso, 
yo lo haría, usaría ese betún para relleno únicamente pero no para cubrir un pastel porque no se te va a ver bonito no, va a estar bien con muchos huecos like, um, like you could see the difference like puedes ver la diferencia cuando le bates bien y mates, le bates muy rápido ok oh it's a, and then it liquefies so dice también um, mi amiga atrás que se hace líquido otra vez también ok So this is American buttercream. Dígame. Usarías otra receta. If you want less, then go with the bright white. Yeah. Ahorita vamos a jugar con los tres. And we're also, so we're going to play with the three recipes. You, did you taste it? I don't think you tasted it. I'll, I'll send it back so you can taste it. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. The white one was the smooth and light. Yeah. Um, basala. Send it back. Um, and then you guys can taste them so that you can see what they're all three of them are buttercream. One has, this one has butter. Oh, I'm going to add pink to it, right? So I can, so we can. And this one is a little yellow tone because of the butter, which is fine. And if you really want it to white, just add white coloring. <laughs> okay. So even though, even though this is butter base buttercream, I am using a gel food coloring. You can use the chocolate colorings for these because it's an oil, which is the butter. Okay, but the gels work fine. Okay, so now I made this one pink. Um, and also, the reason why I also wanted to color them is so that you guys can taste the fact that the coloring is not altering the flavor. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, it depends also on the brand of gels that you're using that won't change the flavors of your recipe. Uh, there are many recipe uh, gel colorings out there that do change them and that have flavoring, like Damien. Damien has flavoring with color. And you can use those. I'm not sh shutting them down. I'm just letting you guys know. Some have flavors with coloring. And if you do that, I would eliminate the vanilla and just keep that. Because then you're going to be like, blah, party in your mouth. Okay. Do you have any questions? Sí. Um, Sí, dura bastante. Yeah. Uh, okay, so for whipped cream, you, cuando lo compras, lo quieres en el freezer. Okay, si no lo vas a usar, freeze it. Cuando lo vas a usar, lo bajas a temperatura um, líquida y ya no lo freeze, you don't freeze it anymore. Okay, lo dejas en la refri hasta que se te acabe, pero es, I think it's like two weeks or so. Pero es, es, um, de este te sale bastante. This one? Oh, this? I forgot there's a camera right there. You're not making faces. <laughs> no, it's good. It is good. Okay. So, who wants to be my first friend up here? Come on, Baker. Come. You called it. Come here. Let's move this guy out of the way. Come. Mándamela. And we have. So what I'm going to do is um, we have some cupcakes here that we sell here at the store. Already made cupcakes. I want you guys to try the different kinds of buttercream. So here you go, my friend. Decorate your cupcake. Look, I have a, my friend here. What's your name? Elisa. Elisa, how old are you? Eight years old. Eight years old. La está entrenando bien. 
Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Don't be shy. Hold on. Let me hold it for you. I put way too much in here, but it's because I want you guys to just finish it. <laughs> hold on. Okay. So don't don't touch the bread. Just hold it up in the air a little and squeeze. Go. Go. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Okay. Ready? Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Yay. Okay. Thank you. Take it. Yay. She's done this before. <laughs> so I'm going to end the lives. Um, if you guys have any questions on lives um, for you that are not watching us or here in person, please email us. Let us know what you think. Come join us, and you get to take home cupcakes, and you get special treats down here. <laughs> and you get to watch the bloopers. Um, the blooper. <laughs> but thank you so much. We appreciate it. We did. We did. Yeah. Yeah. And don't forget. Um, if you want to, si le interesa hacerlos, um, Laura va a tener una clase el 20 de abril. Mm -hmm. So Laura's having a class here on the 20th of April, which is a buttercream class. Y again, um, usted va a hacer el betún. Y va a decorar el pastel. So you'll make the buttercream and you'll decorate a cake. Okay? The class is free. Okay, la clase es gratis. Lo único que tiene que hacer es comprar el material. So the classes are free. You just have to buy your materials to join the class. And then do, um, you have to RSVP because we have very limited seating. Um, take advantage of these free classes because it will be ending soon. Okay? And I mean soon, like May. <laughs> okay. Like May, we're going to start paying, or May Probably. the next month? Um, not sure. Okay. The boss will let us know. <laughs> let us know. Okay. And next week's demo, we have planned for Danish. May change, but not, not likely. Okay. Thank you. <laughs>